In your busy shop, technicians spend a lot of time cleaning and maintaining their primer guns. Considering the fact that most primer guns look like this, it's safe to say that this is not a cost-effective use of technicians' time or materials. A lot of shops simply use cheap guns for primer application and settle for their performance. And you know through experience that spraying primer with that old base coat gun means having to turn up the air pressure in order to get the material out, which results in increased overspray, which means having to spend the time and money to bag everything in sight due to the overspray. Then there's the additional sanding and blocking required, which often results in technicians cutting through the repair, which requires repriming, and the repair area ends up even larger. Because of the guns you're using, you've also experienced having to spray additional coats due to poor film build, uneven fluid distribution, and poor finish quality. And what happens when a technician doesn't properly clean the primer gun? Or worst case, completely forgets to clean the gun? Wouldn't it be great to have a premium spray gun that sprays like it's brand new every time, on demand, at a fraction of the cost without settling for inferior results? Introducing the latest spray application technology from the same people who brought you the 3M PPS system. The 3M AccuSpray system. This HVLP gravity feed spray gun is designed for the application of primer. This spray gun's innovative replaceable atomizing head gives you new gun performance on demand at a fraction of the cost of your current primer application process. You know that in any painting process, production rate and material savings are just as important as finish quality to your bottom line. With a 3M AccuSpray system, you don't have to choose one over the other. Notice how the precision engineered atomizing head delivers a large usable spray pattern. This soft, tight, adjustable spray pattern creates complete atomization, resulting in a high finish quality and absolute application control. The 3M AccuSpray system offers the speed of the best performing conventional spray gun with very little overspray. The 3M AccuSpray system is durable, dependable, and ergonomic. Minimal overspray means less time masking, bagging, and cleaning up. Accurate spray means the primer lands where the painter intends, reducing primer consumption and saving money. A large usable spray pattern decreases production time and provides a more consistent finish. Complete primer atomization produces a flatter, smoother finish, requiring less sanding. And during cleanup, the ability to see that the atomizing head is clean means reduction in solvent consumption and less time spent cleaning. Both significant cost savings to your operations. The 3M AccuSpray system saves you money by reducing cost in time and materials and by increasing your shop's productivity. Let's take a closer look at how the revolutionary new 3M AccuSpray system works. As with any paint application process, make sure to use proper personal protective equipment. First, attach the airflow control valve to the inlet of the gun by threading it on and hand tightening it. Remove an atomizing head from the wall mount dispenser and attach it to the head of the spray gun, sliding the atomizing head over the fluid needle. Make sure to align the latches on the atomizing head with the latch openings on the gun handle. Pull back the trigger of the spray gun, push the atomizing head into the gun body and listen for a double click to ensure that it is fully engaged. Secure the spray gun to a PPS cup by inverting the gun and attaching the atomizing head with a quick quarter turn. Attach compressed air line to spray gun, then set air pressure on the airflow control valve. Next, adjust fan and fluid control knobs on the spray gun before spraying vehicle or substrate to be primed. Adjust control knobs to achieve the desired size of pattern and wetness of fluid. Once control knobs have been adjusted, readjust the airflow control valve to read 20 PSI or less at full trigger pull. 
Once spraying is complete, remove the atomizing head from the PPS cup. Flush the atomizing head with solvent until the atomizing head is clear of primer. Remember that because the 3M AccuSpray system's atomizing head is clear, it makes it easy to tell when it is clean compared to your existing spray gun. Once the atomizing head is clean, remove it from the gun body by pulling the trigger back and compressing the release tabs on the side of the atomizing head. Using a clean towel with solvent on it, wipe the fluid needle on the spray gun to remove any primer or residue left from the cleaning step then inspect the fluid needle and spray gun for damage or wear, which could result in fluid leaks or poor performance of the spray gun. Finally, reattach the same atomizing head to the spray gun, or if necessary, replace with a new atomizing head. Always store the paint gun on an appropriate gun hook with an atomizing head fully engaged to protect the fluid needle from damage while not in use. The new 3M AccuSpray system means the end to messy, expensive, time-consuming primer application and cleanup. Its unique, lightweight, and comfortable ergonomic design features exceptional spray pattern control, which reduces overspray while providing a flatter, smoother finish. That means less time spent masking and sanding. And because of its replaceable atomizing head design, it significantly cuts solvent consumption and technician time during cleanup. With a new 3M AccuSpray system, you are now primed for success. Here are a few tips on getting the most out of the 3M AccuSpray system. When tightening airflow control valve to spray gun, use two wrenches so that you don't damage the inlet to the spray gun. When attaching atomizing head to spray gun, make sure that you line up the latches on the atomizing head to the latch openings on the spray gun before attaching. Failure to do this could result in damage to the latches on the atomizing head. When attaching the atomizing head to the spray gun, make sure you hear the double click. This way you assure the atomizing head is fully secured to the gun body. When setting the air pressure, pull back the trigger of the spray gun to first stage air only. Turning the airflow control valve clockwise, adjust valve to 30 PSI maximum. Then, with the trigger pulled fully, both air and fluid flowing, the airflow control valve should read 20 PSI or less for proper airflow to the spray gun. Or, set air pressure to the spray gun by pulling trigger back fully to the second stage, air and fluid flow, and adjusting airflow control valve clockwise to 20 PSI or less for proper airflow to the spray gun. Note that when closing off the fan pattern control knob for painting smaller areas, it will be necessary to adjust the airflow control valve back to 20 PSI or less because your air pressure will go higher as you close the fan control knob off to make the pattern smaller. Always pull the trigger back when attaching and removing atomizing head from spray gun. Failure to do this could damage the fluid needle. When removing atomizing head from spray gun, always pull atomizing head straight off from the spray gun fluid needle. Failure to do this may cause you to damage or bend the fluid needle. When cleaning atomizing head after use, don't back pressure gun, as this can cause damage to the gun. Never put spray gun or atomizing head in spray gun washer. Damage could occur to both spray gun and atomizing head. Never leave solvent in atomizing head. <laughs> 